Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers in London. Today I'm looking at a book which has come to us from Sweet and Maxwell, part of Thomson Reuters. It's part of their commercial series of titles. And this one's a particularly important title, depending on the sort of specialist work that you do. The full title of the book is Sinclair on Warranties and Indemnities on Share and Asset Sales. It's now in its 10th edition and the general editor is Robert Thompson. The uh, book title we've given for our book review <coughs> for this uh, excellent work is The Ideal Reference for Chancery Lawyers' Scholarly and Practical Perspective on Warranties and Indemnities, now in a new edition. Now let's have a look at the book first of all. Here it is. It's a, it's a hardback book. You can see there, green cover, hardback. And that's the front, and then there's the spine. Now, it's not a heavy book at all. It's running to <coughs> something approaching 500 odd pages. Uh, there's actually a CD at the back, which is quite helpful. And there are, this is something that's relatively new to me. So, Thomson Reuters are producing some information about how to use the CD. And you can see that there's the basic information uh, there, and it runs through, and then there's a disclaimer. Then <clears throat> before that, you've got the, the actual index itself. Now, the index is done by paragraph numbering, which is very much the way in which the, um, the Sweet and Maxwell titles are structured. There's a legal uh, taxonomy at the beginning, which explains how this particular index is structured. Uh, it's always useful to know that because each, uh, basically each publishing firm has its own way of doing things. What you do have is a nice little ribbon as well, which is useful to find things quite quickly. I found the book quite easy to nav navigate, I have to say. This is a complex area of law, of course. There's the front cover. And then after that, you've got the various editions. The first edition came out in 2001. This is the preface now to the 10th edition, and it's dated <coughs> uh, January 2017. And the law is as stated at the 1st of January 2017. I'm recording this review in the summer of 2017, after the general election. Uh, there's the introduction there, which is very useful. There are some useful ab abbreviations. Uh, mainly this is to do with um, financial matters, so therefore it's useful to have the abbreviations. Then we've got the table of contents structured there. And then you can see there are 10 appendices listed at the back. And as I say, there's a CD-ROM. Uh, for you as well. There's a table of cases there. And then after the table of cases, there's a table of statutes. And after that, the table of statutory instruments, which you can see quite nicely structured. And of course, you've got a little bit of European legislation, which will be with us for some time to come, whatever happens with uh, our, le our leaving the European Union. There's the paragraph numbering at the side there. And you can see there is in fact no uh, footnoting, which is actually quite useful because sometimes footnoting can cause a few problems. But as you can see, the actual uh, paragraph numbering is relatively straightforward. And then going right to the back, you can then see uh, there's information right at the back of the uh, document. And this is to deal specifically with the appendices at the back. OK, so what do we say about this particular um, book? As I've indicated, it's a, it's a quite a, an interesting jurisdiction, this one. I've only been involved in a few cases in this area, and it was a little while ago. So therefore, um, perhaps my own practical uh, knowledge is a little bit um, less detailed than others. But this is what we say. Chancery barristers, um, corporate lawyers, and indeed any practitioners involved with the purchase or sale of companies their businesses or their assets should certainly acquire this long established legal text, uh, making sure, of course, they keep it handy. Can I also say, I think anybody involved in financial advice too, whether or not they've got a legal qualification will also find this book quite helpful because we're looking about um, share and asset sales. So therefore, there is going to be a very substantial financial implication. Having been around since 2001 then, this is the new 10th edition, this highly regarded title from Sweet and Maxwell and the Thompson, uh, Reuters Thompson organisation, uh, is published by the Commercial Series, which has established itself as the 
I think, rightly, the definitive work of reference on what is a complicated subject. Yes, the new edition reflects the changes in the law, conventions and practice that have emerged since the last edition of 2011. But it continues to remain true to its basic aim, which, says the general editor, Robert Thompson, is to function as a practitioner's guide to uh, basically design to assist in the preparation and negotiation of suitable sale and purchase documentation for the sale or purchase of companies or the business and assets of them. And I think that's an important point to uh, bear in mind for anybody invi obviously involved in advice in this area. Be they sales or purchases then, such transactions are of course fraught uh, with risk because as disclosure of possible problems may not necessarily be in place or forthcoming. <clears throat> Always a problem in this particular area actually. Indemnities and warranties therefore are together or separately a means or a mechanism for mitigating risk, which of course is the and perhaps is at the back of everybody's mind all the way through. This book examines in precise detail, then, the issues, the perspectives and the practicalities involved across an extremely broad range of situations in which practitioners may find themselves. There's a quote here. All too often, deals uh, fail due to a lack of real understanding of the issues and the alternative ways of apportioning risk in a way that is likely to be acceptable to both the vendor and the purchaser, thus warns the editor. And in most cases, he adds, a negotiated compromise uh, will solve a potential deal breaker. Now, one can infer uh, that from, from this that when dealing with big money and big risk, the general common sense attitude should be one of caution, which of course it normally is. Consider then this example. Under penalties in the chapter on taxation warranties, what, for instance, is the practitioner to do in a case where, and we quote, the company has not been the subject of an audit, investigation, discovery or access order by or involving a taxation authority, and there are no circumstances which make it likely that an investigation, discovery or order will be made. Considering the positions of both the vendors and the purchasers, the accompanying commentary postulates that if the wording of a resulting warranty is somewhat wide, or maybe extremely wide, the vendor should be most cautious in accepting it. Okay, caution coming in. As for the purchasers, they might argue that if a series of past investigations has taken place, for instance, these could be indicators or warning signs that there is an underlying issue, which they would, of course, need to know about. Now, of course, this is a very useful piece of advice because the, the, this reassuringly gives us the detail and the erudition uh, which the book has. Unfortunately, it's very logically organised, so you should find things quite easily. The first chapter covers the history and the functions of warranties and indemnities. I did find that quite interesting because, again, that was taking me back a bit to my uh, days as a student. We then move on to subsequent 12 chapters examining all the salient aspects of this particular area of law. Also provided are the table of, of cases, not that many, um, statutes and statutory instruments, plus, of course, the table of uh, European legislation, which will be with us for some time to come. And then there are the 10 <coughs> appendices, and for the time-pressured practitioner, there's an accompanying CD-ROM on the inside back cover with the information that you may well wish to sort of download. Now, let me conclude by saying that dealing as it does with a complex subject uh, within an, what is effectively an equitable jurisdiction rather than one of the common law, bearing in mind that it's the Charge of the Division, the New Roles Building, that will hear a lot of these cases. This is an important book which practitioners in this field will undoubtedly consider an important purchase. And of course, the law is stated, as I said, at the 1st of January 2017, and I'm recording this a few months later. Here's the book again. <clears throat> there's the front, there's the spine, there's nothing on the back. And then just sort of opening it up in the middle. Analysis of individual warranties. Now you can see the detail there. And what you have got, which I did find, actually some may find it a bit disconcerting, but the emboldening of some paragraph numbers, um, basically giving you some uh, indication of particular types of circumstance that might be being looked at. And then 
some answers as to what might happen, I think is very, very helpful. This is actually dealing specifically with litigation. But you can see the structure is, again, when I was now running through, you've got the same sort of thing happening. And again, you have, this is again analysis of individual warrant is running on from there. And then you've got detailed con um, consideration that's given. Again, this is on tax covenant and tax limitations. And you can see the detail is very much uh, in evidence uh, throughout this book. As I say, that is the CD, which is at the back. I'd like to thank Robert Thompson and Sweden Maxwell very much for producing this work. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We as the practitioners and certainly the bench and everybody involved as advisors very much appreciate the fact that these books are available. This is where the law is and this is where um, we get a helping hand when it comes to actually handling a particular case, the issues therein and of course the client. So a big thank you to all concerned for this new edition which is well worthwhile. Bye bye.